Welcome to Walletopia. I appreciate you being here. This is the GRIP6 wallet. Some of you might be familiar with it. I was a Kickstarter customer for this campaign that launched earlier this year, and it turned out to be quite the odyssey. The company had to go through two versions, version one, and this is the version two that they finally shipped as the, the product, and it was quite the perseverance exercise for the company. I recently went and toured their facility, their manufacturing, talked to them a little bit, and I'll show you some of those uh, videos as well. But right now, let's get into this wallet. This is the wallet, leather, and loop model of the GRIP6 wallet. This is a great packaging. It really expresses the brand values, principles of the company here. It's quite interesting there. Hmm, there we go. Made in the United States. I visited their facility. I can attest to that. And here is the wallet. Again mentioned, this is the wallet, leather, and loop version. They have a non-loop version, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So we take their card out here. Talks about how to care for the leather and the information about it. That's awesome. And the wallet itself. This is the launch button to eject the cards out of this box, of which it is. It has this loop here, which is part of the handhold model here. It was advertised. It has a uh, a metal case around it and this is a leather sleeve you can remove the box from the sleeve let's look at the sewing here really quick looks good it's a nice heavy weight of leather thick now to the feature review of the grip 6 wallet leather and loop wallet if we look at what we have here on the leather sleeve itself on both sides it has a card slot. That's also where you would fold cash and put it into here. It has a thumb push to get the cards or, well, you'd actually pull the cash out, but to get the cards out once you put them in here. We go into the box wallet itself. It can hold up to six cards. And uh, the company says it can hold up to 14 based off of this external sleeve and its capabilities there. It does have this push button here to actually extract the cards, which do come out of here. And that is a quick review of the features of the GRIP6 wallet, sleeve, and loop wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. Minimalist carry on this is six if you're just gonna use the box. I mean, you could put one in there, but you know, six is a great one. Reasonable carry, probably eight. Company says it can hold up to 14. But that really means that this leather would have to stretch a whole lot to make that happen. From a quality perspective, and this is gonna be an interesting conversation, this is not only designed and made in the United States, but the company designs and makes all of its own equipment. They manufacture all the pieces to this as well in the United States in their facility. You can see here, for example, we've got uh, the overall manufacturing floor. They even created a, a particular machine to put the leather sleeve onto the box itself because it's not easy and so they created a machine to do that. Let alone you can see how they put them together by hand. Uh, all of the metal on the plate is pressed here, cut and finished as well as the plastic that is on the side for the trigger, that's also extruded here in their particular factory. The initial Kickstarter campaign produced a version of this wallet, let's call it version one, that had a few problems, namely around the leather right here, this leather strap that goes across the trigger, it was actually depressing this trigger just ever so slightly, and by just ever so slightly doing it, all the cards just came out. They weren't able to maintain this lock up at the top, because of this leather piece. So what they did is uh, they actually just remanufactured, redesigned this uh, trigger so that there's a wider gap here, the space between the loop and where the trigger begins so that leather can cross over without actually impacting this trigger and that's what they did to fix that. But they also did something more. Well, what is that, Mark? But wait, there's more. Well, between version one and version two, they added this thumb and finger notch right here. This is really impressive. By the time GRIP6 discovered what was wrong with this version one, 
Uh, luckily, they hadn't shipped out too many of the wallets. The very early supporters, they got that. I wasn't part of that. I was one of the later supporters in this. We had to wait several more months for them to fix these known issues. And so we ended up with a version two coming out. Now, I know the company is dedicated to quality. So the fact that they scrapped the entire run to fix the issues and it really hurt them really demonstrates their attention to detail, the quality, how important it is. And you end up obviously with a better product. Top grain leather, it's got a great weight to it. It's nice and thick. And what we have here is it's sewn with a high tensile fiber yarn, which uh, is going to give you longevity on this. And of course, this leather is going to develop a wonderful patina over time. And it is very durable. You're not going to have any issues with this. The wallet is priced at $69. And from a usability perspective, let's talk about this notch a little bit. Now, the fix is made between version 1 and version 2, version 2 being the final that was shipped out to all the supporters, including addressing this leather sleeve piece here that I talked about, a larger gap between the loop and the trigger so that the leather could go over and not accidentally depress the button, which causes all the cards to come out. And the other one is that, remember uh, this little thumb and finger notch here? Well, we'll get to that again. I'll put you off just a little bit longer. What we're still dealing with here, so we look at this ejection button, is, well, maybe something like this. Yeah! So the thing that was not really fixed and stayed the same is the sensitivity of this trigger and its ability to really launch cards. Um, you saw how they just kind of shot out and really this is something that will be improved and fixed in subsequent versions for sure. But right now what you need to do is just make sure you have your hand here when you do this so that you can grab the cards. Now let's take a look inside here to, know, to see exactly what's going on and what's causing this. You can see from the bottom that we have the trigger mechanism and that is the lifter arm that pushes the cards up. That works perfectly the way it should. Well, there's a couple issues there, I'll talk about it. But right now, that's what pushes the card up. The thing that causes this launching issue that is taken care of and is addressed in other wallets, you know, like Secret and Exter, is here at the top. On either side, they put some kind of, they put a, a dampening material, a friction material, whether it's felt we've seen before or it's a rubber plate. Uh, but what it does is it starts to slow down. It causes friction and, and uh, prevents the cards from launching. Back to the finger thumb cutout that was added after version one and for version two. Uh, if we look here, we just don't, these are things you just don't see in box other box wallets. And the reason why is, well, you have a trigger here, so why would you need a reason to grab it with your finger? I don't know, but it's kind of a neat little thing here. So instead of using the launch mechanism here, whoa, careful, whoa, you can actually just grab the card you want with this finger and thumb. You just pull it out, you can fan it, grab the card you want, put them back in. It's very clever and honestly is an alternative to the launch button over here. You could have a version of this wallet without that, just this finger and thumb notch availability and you would be set. You wouldn't have a need for the uh, loop, you wouldn't have a need for the launch button. It could be very simple. And what makes this work is the fact that the, uh, the hold mechanism, the latch up here at the top, it creates just the right amount of pressure to hold it. So for example, you know, we can't have cards. Cards are not going to come out, you know, doing this while it's locked. But with just enough friction, we're able to grab them and pull the cards out. You're able to thumb through them. I mean, it's just the right amount of friction and pressure to hold the cards in, but still be able to pull them out with your finger and thumb. It's quite clever. Now I do wish it had a money clip option with this that, uh, you know, despite these two slots here holding uh, the cash for you, I wish there was something better than that. And, you know, what would be nice is if they had a version of this wallet that didn't have the finger loop in it, because it really creates some width on this wallet for your pocket. It is the cool factor of being able to hold it like this, and you can, you know, spin it in your fingers. It's uh, another fidget spinner. I know how wallets are great to be fidget spinners when you find them. Why wouldn't they create a wallet like this without that loop? Well, I'm glad you asked, because here it is, right here. If we look at this. A wonderful card. This is a great color along as contrast to this leather. So it just has the launch button here. Same box, same uh, finger thumb notch here, missing the loop. So you still have the mechanism in here to push the cards up, but it's just a little bit uh, narrower, a little sleeker because it's missing the loop. That's all. Now it measures 4.5 by 3.8. That includes this loop, right? So it'd be less than that by 0.5 and it weighs 97 grams. Now, they have the GRIP6 Garandam T, what they call it, which means that they'll replace or refund the wallet at any time for any reason in any condition. You can't get a better customer service profile than that, honestly. So now let's get onto the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of four, usability of three, and perception of five. 
That gives us a final score of 37 out of 50. It's still a great score. I think this is a great wallet. It'll do well over time. Of course, you can remove the sleeve and uh, use just the box. All kinds of options there. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. We'll pick you up in the next review. Bye.